Tengiz Kitavani Georgian, Tengiz Kitavani born June 9, 1938, is a retired Georgian politician and military commander with high-profile involvement in the Georgian Civil War early in the 1990s when he commanded the National Guard of Georgia and served as a defense minister until being gradually sidelined by Eduard Shevardnadze who had earlier been invited to lead the nation after a successful coup d'état launched by Kitavani and his allies against President Sviad Gamsakhurdia. Early life and career Born in Tbilisi, Kitavani graduated from the Tbilisi Fine Arts Academy and taught at a boarding school in the town of Tetritskaro, and then worked as a main painter for the Tbilisi State Advertising Bureau between 1967 and 1969. Kitavani entered the national politics early in 1990 when the independence movement reached its climax in then Soviet Georgia. Elected to the Supreme Council of Georgia the same year, he was closely associated with Sviad Gamsakhurdia, a Soviet-era dissident who went on to become the chairman of the Presidium of the Supreme Council and eventually the President of Georgia in 1991. In December 1990, Gamsakhurdia decreed the creation of the National Guard of Georgia and appointed Kitavani as its head. However, the two men collided in August 1991, when Gamsakhurdia sacked him as National Guard commander. Kitavani subsequently claimed that Gamsakhurdia was intending to disband the National Guard, and had been ordered to do so by the leaders of the Moscow Putsch who had briefly taken power in the Soviet Union, but did not produce the documents he claimed to possess confirming this. Kitavani refused to accept his dismissal and left Tbilisi with most of his troops to entrench himself in the Arconi Gorge. This was the beginning of the end for Gamsakhurdia, whose inflexible politics forced many of his former supporters into opposition. <laughs> <laughs> Military coup and civil war The confrontation between pro- and anti-Gamsakhurdia factions quickly degenerated into a series of strikes and armed clashes, and eventually, Kitavani, joined by Gamsakhurdia's former Prime Minister Tengiz Sigura and the paramilitary leader Jabir Iosiliani, launched a violent coup in December 1991. Iosiliani, as well as Gamsakhurdia's supporters and some independent observers, claimed that Kitavani hired some Soviet, Russian troops stationed in Tbilisi to join the attack on the government. On January 2, 1992, the deposition of Gamsakhurdia and the formation of the military council had been announced with Kitavani and Iosiliani as its leaders. Gamsakhurdia had been forced into exile by January 6, 1992, and the coup leaders invited the former Soviet foreign minister Eduard Shevardnadze to head the post coup provisional government, the State Council, in March 1992. As a result of the power-sharing arrangement that was eventually struck between Iosiliani, Kitavani, Sigua and Shevardnadze, Kitavani remained the commander of the National Guard and retained a considerable influence on decision-making. In May 1992, Shevardnadze appointed Kitavani Minister of Defense and Deputy Prime Minister in an effort to bring the National Guard under central control. However, both Kitavani and Iosiliani were reluctant to concede power to Shevardnadze and tended to engage in unilateral actions, and in doing so frequently conflicted with each other. The first and most obvious of such actions was taken by Kitavani during a planned military operation against Gamsakhurda's supporters who had formed pockets of armed resistance in western Georgia and had taken Georgian government officials hostage. On the night of August 13, 1992, Kitavani's force entered the Autonomous Republic of Abkhazia, whose leadership had taken a series of steps towards secession from Georgia, in order to establish control over the region's railways sabotaged by Gamsak Herder's loyal militias. Although this operation and show of force resulted in the eventual release of the hostages, Kitavani, acting most probably on his own initiative, proceeded towards Abkhazia's capital of Sukhumi and forced the Abkhaz leaders into flight. Shevardnadze failed to have Kitavani's force withdrawn from Abkhazia and the country became involved in a 13-month-long war which would end in Georgia's loss of control over most of Abkhazia. Another version of these events, often quoted in Georgia, says that Russia, while supporting the Abkhaz, also instigated Kitavani to trigger the conflict and perhaps even promised support for his leadership ambitions in Georgia after a successful operation. 
Later, Shevardnadze would accuse Kitavani of provoking an armed conflict in Abkhazia, claiming that Kitavani disavowed his order and advance with his military to Sukhumi. Kitavani however blamed Shevardnadze for preventing him from following up an offensive on Sukhumi with an attack on the Abkhaz stronghold in Gudauta, home to a Russian military base which supplied the secessionist forces with instructors and munitions. Shevardnadze's successor as president of Georgia, Mikhail Saakashvili, has also accused Kitavani of being a Russian agent and blamed him for the loss of Abkhazia. Topic: <laughs> Conflict with Shevardnadze. During the war in Abkhazia, Kitavani developed a power center rivaling Shevardnadze's and on several occasions challenged Shevardnadze, now head of state, on defense matters, suggesting that he should be responsible only for foreign policy. Kitavani stood as a candidate in Georgia's parliamentary elections of October 11, 1992 and was elected in the single-mandate constituency of Bolnisi. In the aftermath of the elections, Shevardnadze attempted to replace him as Minister of Defense with a professional soldier, General Anatoly Kamkamadze, but was unable to do so. Amid persistent rumors that he was planning a new military coup, Kitavani was finally forced into resignation in May 1993 though a protégé, Gia Karkarashvili, was named as his replacement, and he was able to retain some of his power, partly, according to widespread rumors in Tbilisi, through his control over Georgia's energy mafia and his special relationship with Russian Defense Minister Pavel Grashev. However, Shevardnadze was able to exploit the military setback in Abkhazia to embark on a crackdown on the paramilitary groups and ultimately their leaders. After the pro gamsak Herdia rebellion had been quashed with Russian aid by December 1993, Shevardnadze was able to increasingly consolidate his power and deprive both Kitavani and Iosiliani of influence over national security policy. After spending some time in Russia, Kitavani returned to Tbilisi and, together with Tengiz Sigua and Boris Kakubava, leader of a faction of ethnic Georgian IDPs from Abkhazia, founded the National Front for the Liberation of Abkhazia in the autumn of 1994. On January 13, 1995, Kitavani, with the support of Tengi Sigua, led a force of some 700 lightly armed supporters in a march against Abkhazia. They were stopped by Georgian police and arrested. Kitavani was tried for having organized an unlawful armed force and sentenced to eight years' imprisonment in October 1996. He served four years of his eight year term and was pardoned by Shevardnadze on medical grounds on May 22, 1999. Topic: Emigration and return. Since early 2000s, Kitavani has lived in Moscow, from where he harshly criticized the Shevardnadze government on several occasions. In February 2002, he responded scandalously to the mysterious suicide of Nugza Sajaya, Shevardnadze's close ally and an influential chairman of Georgia's National Security Council, making allegations that Sajaya was a homosexual and had ordered the 2001 murder of journalist Georgi Sanaya. Later that year, Kitavani accused Shevardnadze of being behind the 2002 assassination of Kaki Asatiani, a businessman and former soccer star. He also upheld Russia's claims that some 700 Chechen fighters had spent that winter in Georgia's Pankizi Gorge. He further claimed that Russian General Gennady Shpigan, abducted and killed in Chechnya in 1999-2000, was in fact held captive and put to death in Pankizi, with the body then taken to southern Chechnya. Georgia dismissed all these claims, however, Georgian Prosecutor General Nugza Gabrichids claimed that Kitavani had been in close contact with National Guard veterans who staged a failed mutiny on March 23, 2003. Kitavani, however, denied any links with the mutiny. Kitavani returned to Tbilisi in December 2012, after the change of government in the aftermath of the October 2012 parliamentary election. <laughs> Notes <laughs>